All right, it's that time of year for king tides. Those are especially high tides that could result in water ponding or even flooding on low lying streets in cities such as St. Augustine. And tonight, a look into how rising sea levels are making king tides something more people in cities are noticing. King tides. Nothing new. They are exceptionally high, high tides during certain full moons of the year. But over the years, with rising sea levels, king tides are making themselves more noticeable in cities. I think the thing that we are seeing is an increase of frequency, maybe which streets are getting flooded or how many times per year. Okay. So we are seeing kind of an uptick in that. Jessica Beach is the city of St. Augustine's chief resiliency officer. The rising water is. It's usually just in the streets and they'll see it coming potentially up through some storm drains or just where it's really low, some low points. And when a king tide is compounded by heavy rain or strong winds, there's more flooding and it has looked like this before. Because that's happening more frequently, the city of St. Augustine has. The city's completed a vulnerability assessment and adaptation plan. We've got lots of studies and projects going on. It is identifying the city's weak spots when it comes to flooding and then the city aims to create solutions. Now one solution for example for more than five years the city has installed one-way valves or pipes underground which let the floodwaters out into the rivers and not back in. These are before and after images of king tide flooding. On the left shows an image of what the area looked like before a one-way valve was installed. And on the right shows what it looked like after a valve was installed, even during a king tide, a lot less street flooding. St. Augustine is also taking notes from other coastal cities that are dealing with more noticeable king tides as well. So we're sharing information, lessons learned, what's worked for other communities. Because the water is not just rising in St. Augustine. And so the time for king tides in at least uh, this area, it will be in October from the 14th through the 23rd. So that's into next week. And then during the uh, full moons uh, in November, December and January.